parasitism. Are you familiar with this word? Do you also know what parasite is shown in the video? Please stay tuned to know the answer. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. Veterinary medicine and surgery come alive to vet students and pet owners. Can you recognize what kind of pet is this? Maybe it's hard for you since this pet has no hairs anymore. This one-year-old male guinea pig came last 27th of January here in Topayo Vets for consultation. The patient is emaciated, lethargic, anorexia, and the skin is thick and crusty. The owner complained that this skin problem has been going on for a month. They also did the consultation from other vet at the time. The vet did the skin scraping and diagnosed this patient with fungal infection. So they prescribed antifungal wash and oral medications. But the owner said that this patient never recovers, instead getting worse. The appetite is getting poorer until no appetite at all. The skin became more crusty and there are also mucoid discharge in the stools. So they decided to go to Topaya Vets for a consultation. The doctor decided to take another skin scraping, shaving the whole body and hospitalized for monitoring as the patient was very weak. This is the microscopic examination of the sample we get from skin scraping. This parasite is a mite, scabies mites to be exact. Mites are microscopic parasites that burrows into your guinea pig skin and infest the cooler areas of the body. These are the ears, nose, and paws. This parasite causes severe pruritus or itchiness, hyperkeratosis or thickening of the outer layer of the skin, and inflammatory skin reactions. They can get this parasite by direct contact with patients that have these mites. These scabies mites are also zoonotic. Zoonotic means that the parasite is transmissible from pets to humans. Sadly, this patient didn't recover and passed away on the first day of treatment. The owner then decided to have their other guinea pig also check as they also saw some crustiness on the skin but still the guinea pig is doing well. Remember that I mentioned that these parasites are zoonotic? Their other guinea pig also got the same condition and was also treated the same as the first patient. Luckily, this patient was still have good appetite and active. After two days, he was sent back home with oral medications and spat on my treatment. Parasitism is when one organism lives on and in another organism causing it some harm. Parasites that causes scabies or mange is one of the examples of parasitism. Scabies are the most common and significant ectoparasites in guinea pigs. Poor husbandry and exposure to infested animal leads to this infestation. It is diagnosed by microscopic examination of the sample taken by skin scraping. Tips for owners Early treatment of scabies is important. Most residents lead hectic lives but do make an appointment to see the vet when your pet has skin diseases. Seek a second opinion if the guinea pigs has no response to veterinary treatment within 7 days. Tips for vets Skin scrapings may not show mites. There is a need to take at least 6 skin scrapings to rule out mites. In this case, the localization of the crust is widespread all over the body, leading to vet one diagnosis of a fungal infection. The owner usually uses home remedies or pet shop medicine for some time. This affects the proper diagnosis of scabies in the guinea pig. In all diseases, early detection is important and proper diagnosis leads to good prognosis. I hope you learned something on this video. Thank you for watching! Feel free to visit topayovets.com for more information.